Hey, this is Kits and Snips, and today I will be building the Flame Toys Starscream model kit from Transformers. Now, this particular model kit does not transform. I know it's not great, but when it comes to Transformers, their transformations are often complex, and that is something that is hard to come across in a model kit. That being said, don't let that deter you, as this kit still looks outstanding. And it does have a bit more runners than your standard high grade kit. But overall, it is still a fairly simple build that just about anyone will be able to get behind as long as you have your standard set of tools. But all that being said, let's go ahead and get into that build.
And here it is completed. Honestly, it's not a bad kit at all. I do like the way it looks. It is very reminiscent of that original Gen 1 Starscream, right down to the colors, though I do feel they are just a bit too vibrant, at the same time of being just a little bit too flat. I do have to say as well, be careful with this kit, as it is extremely stiff, and moving it around makes it feel like you're gonna break it. When it comes to height, it is significantly taller than your standard high-grade RX-78. Now, this is because it is not built to any sort of scale, so take that as it is, but you do get a lot of plastic with this kit. When it comes to this kit, though, it doesn't have many accessories. You are only looking at the two laser blasters that can be attached to the shoulders or can be held in the specialized holding hands for it. It also comes with a set of open hands that I've used for a majority of the completed build and a set of fists. And that's really all there is to this kit. While it's not terrible, and if you love Transformers, I can definitely recommend building it, as for somebody that builds mostly Gundams, it left a lot to be desired. The plastic is extremely brittle feeling. Getting this kit to move is just very precarious, as it feels like all of the joints are just under severe pressure. 
and that's just from how tightly the plastic locks together. While this kit isn't bad by any stretch of the imagination, it is one you are going to have to take extra care with as you will feel like moving it that it's going to break and not something I can really recommend unless you really love Transformers. Music for this video was once again brought to you by Upbeat, not sponsored, with the song Congration from Random Rob. As always, link to the music will be in the description below, so show the artist some love. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the build. It was just a little bit longer than my normal gun to build as this did have a lot of runners and I had to take some extra precautions when putting stuff together as fitting the plastic together. It was just a little bit tight. But as always, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I always got more interesting things down the pipeline. And of course, leave a comment if you have any questions about this kit. I'm more than happy to answer them, as I know model kits are expensive. And if I can help you out with a buying decision, I'm more than happy to be there for you. As always, this is Kits and Snips signing out saying, have fun building.